Congratulations, Captain. There are those among us who doubted you could make it this far. The third question is somewhat different, but our heroes, the Gerent, found the answer. Solve this equation. Pig plus X equals cow. Talk among yourselves. I will answer questions if I can. Only one may reply. At face value, this question is complete nonsense, Captain. There is no way to answer chicken plus X equals reality. What are you saying? The question was pig plus X equals cow. Interesting, Kirk. I heard talk talk plus X equals Zrok Nav to humans. It would translate to plant plus X equal hive paper. What did you hear, Vulcan? Chicken plus X equals reality. Each question starts with something edible. Pigs and chickens are farm stock, are they not? Many elements of Federation society do not consume animal flesh, Captain Clark. In principle, however, you are correct. But I believe the answer is, there is no logical answer. I don't think so, Spock. But I don't like yours either, Clar. Where's the relationship between a cow, hive paper, and reality? Difficult, I admit, Kirk. But they must be connected. I'm not impressed, Clar. The Braska addressed me first. I think we need to answer pig plus X equals cow. You try my patience, Kirk. There's a pattern and an answer. A talk, talk grows a flower that ka cha insects visit, and ka cha make nectar and hive paper, so flower would work. And what does that do for my question, or spots? Your officer was asked to solve chicken plus X equal reality. The philosophers of Bolare 7 maintain a celestial bird something like a chicken laid an egg from which the universe hatched. The idea of reality began as something egg-shaped was an early theory of Klingon cosmologist. You're stretching, Clar. It all fits! The Tlok Pok flower is egg-shaped. Therefore, I believe egg is correct for all equations. Kirk, in a barter society, might not a cow be worth, say, a pig with a clutch of eggs thrown in? Clar, I come from a farm on Earth in a state called Iowa. Your solution makes some sense, but so would pig plus crate of apples equal cow. It's something else. If I may, based on the evidence, I remain convinced there is no answer. A time will come when we must answer. I'm willing to let either of you answer. The Brassica will allow only one to answer. Getting more than one question confuses things. I still have a gut feeling that pig plus X equals cow is the one. The answer must be something about shifting the letters. I'll get it in another minute. Assume my question is the one to answer. Counting each letter of the words from its place in the alphabet, the equation 32 plus X equals 41 results. The answer is 9, and since I is the ninth letter, I is the answer to pig plus X equals cow. Captain, I like self-assurance, but your belief you are always the answer is pitiful. Why use a human alphabet when not all here are human? You will notice, Clark, that I have the only arithmetically derived answer. We are ready with our answer now. We have questions. We are ready with our answer now. Let the one who would answer be the next to speak. The question I heard was chicken plus X equals reality. This question is nonsensical, as is Captain Kirk's. Therefore, I deduce the answer is that there is no answer. Your answer is accepted. However, this is not to say whether this answer is right or wrong. You plan to make off with everyone? Do you really expect me to keep taking that without protest? The next question awaits, Captain Kirk. I am astonished that an alien like you has muddled your way this far. It is a great honor that we share the Riddle Master's questions to the Gerent. The last question... Answer this. There are two present. Only 
one to take them away. Why should you be the one to leave this place alive? Discuss this. I will answer questions if I can and will. You might want to discuss this with me to explore your options. Intriguing question, Kirk. Two captains representing empires at odds with each other. The Federation is no empire, Klar, and the Organian Treaty assures we are not at each other's throat. Be honest. There are many differences between us. I wish to hear your analysis before I offer my own thoughts. I'd hoped you thought of something new. I'm having second thoughts and I want to go over my ideas with you again. I'd hoped you thought of something new. It's simple, Kirk. You go, or I go. A third option would be nice, but unlikely. Intriguing question, Kirk. Two captains representing empires at odds with each other. The Federation is no empire, Klar, and the... Be honest. The... I'd hoped you thought... I'm having second thoughts... Of... You go or I go, Kirk. Have you a better idea? Since I represent the peaceful and unified Federation, I'm the only one possible answer. We would share the Braska knowledge, even with the Klingons, but I doubt the reverse would be true. This is best for everyone. I might surprise you, Klar. I believe the Braska will come to us in time. The Klingons need the civilizing influence they offer, and you're the best representative. I'll bow out, and you proceed. I don't like the choices. I want another alternative, but I'm not sure there is one. Since I represent the people- Your arrogance is without limits, Kirk! Don't assume! I will not let you casually throw away my life! I'd hoped you thought- I'm having second thoughts and- You go or I go, Kirk! Since- I, I might surprise you, Clark. I believe- I don't believe you, Kirk! You're no martyr! Kirk! You're a warrior? Or am I wrong? Are you too soft to rise to an honest challenge? I'm no martyr, but I think that's the best of bad choices. You're the best choice to be allowed to leave if only one of us can. Another time, another place, I'd fight you, Clar, but not now. I'm having second thoughts about you being the one to leave. I'm no martyr, but I think that... Very well. I accept your decision, regardless of what I think of it. I'd hoped you... I'm having second thoughts and I want... You go or I... Since I rep... I don't like the choices. I want another alternative. But I'm not sure there is one. I feel the same, Kirk. I have a thought about how we might deal with the question. Go ahead, Clar. I'm listening. Forget it, Clar. I have my own ideas. Go ahead, Clar. I'm listening. They're asking us to choose one to proceed and one to remain. That's the implication of death for the one who remains. I concur. They want an answer that either I live and you die, or you live and I die. I say we answer, we both live, or both die. Good concept. What if they refuse? We choose it, whether they offer or not. And if it's not the answer I give? We shall see, won't we? We're ready with our answer. We have questions. We're ready with our answer. Let the one who would answer be the next one to talk. We're ready with our answer. Let the one who would answer be the next one to talk. You want me to choose one of us or the other to proceed? Well, frankly, I don't think it's right to put either of us at risk. We're both starship captains, both legitimate representatives of millions of inhabitants on thousands of planets. I want another alternative, another choice. Captain Kirk. You have stepped forward to make your choice, and that choice is very simple. I proceed from this room alone. Allow Captain Clark to proceed from this room alone. We both proceed from this room, or neither of us does. There is no such option offered. What exactly do you mean by choosing in this way? That perhaps you should both die? No, Brassigan, it means we're changing the rules. You want one to remain, perhaps to die, and one to go on? We refuse to play that game. 
You want to meet with us as much as we wish to meet with you, so take us both through, or let us both remain in this surreal purgatory forever. Take it or leave it. You have confounded me, Captain Kirk. I did not believe you would make such a choice. But I declared all along that this race had the qualities we sought. The understanding of both leadership and sacrifice. Captain Kirk, you have achieved all that I, at least, had hoped of you. It is time for us to greet you face to face.